Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. I'm back with another Father's Day card. This one is pretty quick and easy. There is no stamping and no coloring. I did actually do a little bit of ink blending through a stencil, but you guys know that that's fast. So I'm a big proponent of stretching your supplies and trying to use dyes in new and different ways. I grabbed the Comic Words die set from iCrafter and I cut out the letters uh, to spell out pop. And you'll notice that this set has both an inside large letter and then it also has the outline. So I cut it twice, once from black paper, once from gold glitter cardstock. And then I'm just going to kind of nestle the two together. And the extra pieces I, I'm just going to store in the back of that stamp pocket so that I have them for the next time. Now you might be surprised to see that I used the speech bubble to make my popcorn which I thought was kind of cool. Um, and it works perfect, right? So that's what I used there. If you don't have that, um, you can check through your stash, see if you've got any clouds. And then for the oval where it says pop, I used a nesting oval die. You could always use one of the bursts that's in the comic word set if you have that one. Um, but I had the oval, so I'm gonna use those. Now for my card and card front, um, I will be cutting them down into a bucket shape and I will cut the top of the card front down with the scallop die set or the scallop die here from Heffy Doodle. And I'm going to stencil on some lines with the red festive berries ink there. So first things first, let's go ahead and cut down the bucket shape. I'm going to line this up in my trimmer so that the bottom right corner of both the card front and the the card base are um, lined up so that the bottom right corner is about a quarter of an inch in and the top right corner was right at the cutting line. So just those two points kind of match them up and that shaves off a little triangle. Now because we can't cut the left side of the card because that's where the fold is, we need to cut the bottom. So I'm going to line up um, the card front there in my trimmer again. And you can see my top two points are between two lines, they're meeting up, and the bottom um, will stick down a little bit on the left side. So I just used a, a pencil to mark a little notch or a, a little spot there where it's stuck down across that line. And then I know I can line up that little pencil point with the um, the end on the opposite side there and trim that down. That, that's going to give me the right angle. And honestly, you don't have to be too perfect with this. It, it's going to be close enough. Um, so you can see we've got it coming in a little bit from the left and right side. Now the top right corner will be sticking up still. That's okay. We're going to fix that. On the card front, we'll end up trimming it with that scallop piece and then it'll be parallel. And for the back of the card, I'm going to grab uh, another oval die. This one's larger. That's in that same set. Again, if you don't have the ovals, you can just round this off with your scissors. It's not really going to be seen. All you're using this for is to make a base somewhere to glue the popcorn onto. So it doesn't have to be perfect. But in this case, um, I had the oval, so I'm going to use them. I lined up the bottom of the card with the bottom edge of my cutting mat there and then I line that up on my grid and that's the eye mend um, cutting plate there and you can see through it which is helpful I could use that grid to help me line up my oval then I only covered the top portion of the oval and ran it through my die cut or die cutting machine and then that gave me just the top cut off so I had a, a bucket there um, with an, an oval rounded top part so let's work on the actual bucket the front of the card here I am putting it onto my craft mat and I'm lining up my stencil. Now this stencil is a diagonal stencil so I just turn it on its side. Um, what I'm really trying to do is get straight lines up and down and so I kind of lined it up making sure that I had an even amount of distance um, from the left and right side and, and then I'll get nice straight lines that way. Now I'm using my iCrafter, these blending brushes. I love these. These are great for stencils. Um, and that ink is Festive Berries. It's a nice bright red color. I, this one is the red that I use most often. I really like it. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply it through the stencil there. And when we pull it up, you can see we've got red stripes. Now I want to trim the top off. So I'm going to line it back up on my grid and I'm making sure that the bottom is parallel. And then I can line up the scallop 
on a parallel line as well. So that grid is, is super handy there. And I'll just tape it in place, run it through my die cutting machine and cut the top off. And I don't need that top for anything else, so I'll get rid of that. And now we've got our little bucket. I think this would be fun to do with a slimline card too, don't you? I think that would be great. I wish I would have thought of that. <laughs> so let's go ahead and adhere the bucket to the card front. I am just going to add um, adhesive everywhere except the top of the scallops. I want to leave... Um, leave some space there so that I can tuck the popcorn in when I'm adhering that. Uh, but for now, I'll just glue the rest of the bucket down. And then I want to glue the word pop to the oval. And um, I'm using these flat back tweezers. These are great because they have a nice wide paddle. They can hold all three parts of the letters together. You have the, the big gold part and then the inside and the outside that are cut out of the black. And it holds all three pieces at the same time. So I can just kind of treat them as one piece when I'm adding the glue to them and sticking them down, which makes it really handy. Um, when I glue letters down, I'm making sure that I do the outside edges first, so left side, right side, and then come back in and kind of fill in the center just to make sure that I get even spacing. Um, so I glued all of those down, and then I decided that I wanted to pop the pop-up. <laughs> so I grabbed some foam tape here, and I'm just going to put some on the back of that there. You'll notice the uh, printing on the back of my oval there. That's actually a piece of the uh, cover for my Bristol Smooth cardstock. It has uh, a neat texture to it, so I saved it. <laughs> I can use that side. It's great paper. Uh, so I just stuck that down and now it's time for the popcorn. So if you don't have this die set, you can just check through your stash. See what you have that, that looks like popcorn. Um, the speech bubble works perfect for, for this. And I love that there was an outline and an in, inside piece there. And in fact, you could lose the outline and the inside piece looks like a, a different shape as well. Um, if you don't have this, maybe clouds, um, just check around. You, you might be surprised to see what you have in your stash that, that you can use in a different way. So I went ahead and I just um, stuck them down. I did discover that it was easier to kind of start at the top and then work my way down. Um, so it, you have less overlapping. Um, it, it worked better that way. And then I just finished it off with a few gold sequins. I didn't want to go too crazy, but a, a few pops of that gold sparkle I thought was a lot of fun. And you have to head over to my blog to see what I wrote on the inside. It's a silly punny joke that um, I think works well. If you're new to my channel, feel free to click subscribe and ring that bell. I've got a few more videos for you, including some more Father's Day masculine type cards. And as always, my friend, thanks for watching.